Hello, my friends, and welcome to the True. I'm Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus or am I choosing my own way? Belief in action, as we discussed yesterday, includes expectation in action. Expectation in action includes both personal and corporate expectation. Today, we're going to be looking at unity in action. What it looks like from our passages found in Acts chapter 1 and chapter 2. In addition, we're going to be looking at some other verses, so I hope you've got your pen and paper ready. In Acts chapter 1 verse 14, we read, They all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the women Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. And then in Acts chapter 2 verse 1, what do we read? When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Jesus taught them by his actions during his ministry. And after he was resurrected, it continued. Building community, a community that has become and is his church. The apostles and the disciples found unity, certainly in the events that had taken place prior during Jesus' ministry, after his resurrection, and then, of course, in these 10 days, waiting for the promised Holy Spirit, they likely found unity of purpose through Scripture. They were very likely prayed the Shema, found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 and 6. That's only a part of it. Remembered what was written in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. They would have recalled the prayer that Jesus had for his disciples that John recorded for us in chapter 17, verses 6 through 26, the high priestly prayer. The key for today's thought is found in verse 21, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you sent me. Jesus prayed that our unity in action will reveal to the world that he is in the Father and the Father is in him and that the world will know through our unity that Jesus is in us and we in him. These folks were together. And as we go forward over the coming weeks, we're going to continue to highlight when we see these apostles and disciples living out unity in action. Here's my questions for today. Am I seeking to be in unity with God's plan for me? Am I seeking to be in unity with the church body? Am I seeking to be in unity with the Holy Spirit to be a witness to all that Jesus has done for me and is doing for me, all to the glory of God? Am I listening to what the Holy Spirit is teaching me today? Am I going to choose the way of Jesus that leads to a full life, or am I going to choose my own way? Now, I'm praying for us that God will let us have eyes to see and ears to hear his truth from his word, that we will have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths, and then that we will have the boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit is calling us to do as we live unity in action. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.